Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Monday, March 13th, 2017. The tarot card for today is Death, and this one comes to us from the Robin Wood Tarot, which actually in this deck it is called The Journey. And, you know, I have to tell you, while a lot of times I always say, oh, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Cups, I love when I see this card come along because it really does bring the change that's often very much needed in one's life. And the timing of this today really couldn't be more perfect. Yesterday was our annual full moon in Virgo. And, you know, it made to some the same, oh yeah, it's just a full moon. Okay, because we had the eclipses last month. But really, no, this is a very powerful month in your timeline. And so many things are happening. So you may very well find yourself, you know, today or this week or whatever, however this energy applies for you, being able to close a particular door, all right? Full moons are about closing things out, letting things go. You see where I'm going with this? So I'm thinking, you know, not that I already know, but I, I'm thinking that we're going to see, you know, that new beginning coming real soon where where you're going to see the change so the question probably lies in your particular experiences in your life which situation will come to an end and many times and i i try to emphasize this every day is that so many of you out there become fixated on one thing and one thing only that you forget to look at everything else that's going on in your life. There are other things that you need to deal with as well, besides whether or not some narcissistic, you know, love from the past is going to come back again, because chances are they might, because Venus is retrograde. But honestly, <laughs> this is more important, whatever this is about, whatever you have going on in your life, whatever situation needs to end, the opportunity is here to let it go, close that door, and move on, all right? The, you know, the death card signifies like closing out a chapter. And you've already known since the Pisces new moon on February 26th, which was a solar eclipse, that there was a cycle of your life that was closing out. And that doesn't mean that it, exactly on February 26th that something closed out for each of you it may be falling now all right two weeks later at the full moon okay but you're you're finally seeing it because one of the things i've been saying to everyone is that by the time you get to the equinox which is eight days from now that you're really off on that next three month journey and i'm honestly amazed at how these things seem to play out because they have a great deal to do with the seasons i'm not sure if all of this was ever explored enough i think that historically you know centuries ago people understood the seasons more than we do now you know we get so involved in what's going on day to day this is retrograde this is conjunct this that's happening there but it, it kind of you know overwhelms or clouds out the things that are happening when the seasons change so i'm urging you to pay close attention to that because you're going to notice it so whatever you're able to bring an end to this week you're going to see the beginning coming and it's going to be the beginning of a new cycle and you're going to be on your way and this is like a whole new leg in your journey of life okay there is a real transformation of your identity taking place one of the things that i think many many people say you know with all the things you've been through since say 2012 and then especially in the last couple years you know part of you wants to be who you were you know you look in the mirror you're like oh, i just want to be me again and you know there is that realization that you can't be the same you but maybe you can be a newer, better version of you. And that's kind of what this transition is all about, okay? Is that part 
of the journey that takes you to that new identity because you're not quite sure yet exactly what it is. But I think come May, late May, early June, somewhere in there, you're going to start to recognize where this path is taking you. And it's actually taking you somewhere wonderful. You just don't know it yet. So use this energy today wisely and make sure that you close the door or let it go if it needs to be let go of. So I want to thank you all for listening. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.